this is some trauma right here. So I feel for you guys, man, and I'm so sorry, man, that you lost, you know, a lovely girl like this. Breaking tonight, a family is grieving after this 15-year-old girl, Kayla Rincon Miller, was shot and killed, just 15 years old. She was out walking with her friends at the time. Thanks for watching NBC2. I'm Kyla Gaylor. And I'm Peter Bush. Kayla and her two friends left the movie theater at the Coral Wood Shopping Center around 10.30 last night. They were heading to McDonald's when they were ambushed. NBC2's Rachel Whalen is live at the spot where Kayla died. So this was random. This is this, this is the third story we're doing tonight with some woman who's been just murdered in public. You know, it's funny because most people will tell you, you know, if you just keep your head down and don't talk to no one, nothing will happen to you. Yeah, or like it's, it's such it's such bullshit, man. Like I hate I hate I hate people. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like people piss me off a lot. Cause that's just not completely true at all. Yeah, or she was rude. You gotta be she 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 probably slip talked them. And it's like, oh man, yo, you just don't understand, man. You can be nice, you can be as nice as you want. If they don't get what they want, it goes left. 10 30 last night. They were heading to McDonald's when they were ambushed. NBC2's Rachel Whalen is live at the spot where Kayla died as police search for her killer. That's right, and that memorial is growing. If you take a look here, this is where Cape Coral police say Kayla Rincon Miller was shot and killed by the corner of Southeast 20th Street and Southeast 16th Place. You can see the memorial there is growing. We watch a man come by and drop off those flowers, and a neighbor lay down some concrete and build a metal fence here. We also saw police come back out here. We saw LCSO, Cape Coral police, and canines investigating the area, all to find the suspects responsible for her death. I've seen it happen so many times in my life where young girls, you know, got killed, you know what I'm saying, for no reason at all because you got some foolish young boys that get a gun in their hand. Cape Coral police say a robbery is what led to the death of a 15-year-old girl last night. Police say Kayla Rincon Miller was walking from the Marquis Cinema to McDonald's with two other friends. Around 9.30, a car stopped them at Southeast 20th Street and Southeast 16th Place. The people in the car blinded the girls with their lights and tried to rob them. Then one of the suspects shot Kayla in the chest. This is some trauma right here. So I feel for you guys, man, and I'm so sorry, man, that you lost, you know, a lovely girl like this. Elliot Walker Sr. doesn't know Kayla, but stopped by to drop off flowers for her. According to a GoFundMe set up by her family, Kayla was a vibrant teenager that was simply enjoying spring break with her friends. It says, quote, her passing has left our family devastated, mourning the loss of a beautiful soul. Typically, I have our detective team up here with me. Uh, there's no time for that today because it's an all-hands-on-deck approach. Police say they are now putting their full energy into finding the suspects. They say they sped off traveling southbound on Southeast 20th Street. But when they see something like this, and it should strike a nerve, that a young, vibrant 15-year-old girl shot dead in the street, what can I do? Let's just if make sure he doesn't call them thugs or hoodlums and is sensitive to things that may inflame the black community because her death ain't going to inflame the black community. Him calling her a, them, them fucking turds that did this a thug, that will inflame the black community. Press one. Yeah, and you have any access to video if you've seen anything or if you hear anything because they are school age kids. There's a lot of information that comes about on social media and in conversations. If anything is pertinent, please call. Police Chief Anthony Sizemore says Kayla's friends said they did not recognize the shooter. Walker is urging the suspects to turn themselves in. The other guys that were with this guy that did the shooting, you guys need to step up man, and come forward, tell your parents or tell somebody or him, just bro. go to the police station <laughs> right. and take that guy what you did there because if, if you don't, these They're guys are you. evil, man. He, he's he he's he's acting like there's something good in these kids. Like they they just made a mistake or some stupid shit. They be saying like these are evil people, man. And this is not the only case where like people do this. Like I don't. Oh, 
you know, not tonight. This isn't the only case tonight. Yeah, covered. yeah, this isn't the only case tonight. You've covered that people aren't saying shit like this, and this isn't the only case any night. This is pretty much every case every night where they're like, turn yourself in, or if you guys know anyone, like, no one's snitching. The guy who killed the girl in um, D.C. in the carryout, face all on camera. He's out there. He's he's not in custody. The guy who stabbed the girl in um, New York because she turned him down, face all on camera. He's not in custody. These guys not in custody, yet there are too many black men in jail. And we got to do something about it being too many black people in jail. And literally of the fucking 20 or so videos I did tonight, it's probably five of them where somebody's in custody. None of the five murders in Birmingham. They had five people murdered in Birmingham in 24 hours. Nobody's in custody for any of those murders. Well, they're just misguided. You know? They don't know any better. Unbelievable, man. If you have any information, make sure you call Cape Coral Police. If you have information and you could remain anonymous, you can also call Crime Stoppers, where you can remain anonymous and receive cash for your clues. I'm reporting in Southeast Cape Coral, Rachel. Wade. And that's that's the craziest Rachel. thing. You can remain anonymous and maybe even comp get compensation out of just giving any detail of the person that might have done it. Or if you actually know them, you can actually get money for it. And no one's going to say a damn thing. Because mm. it's about that, staying no. true to yourself and not snitching. It's ridiculous. Great show, man. Same black time. Same black channel. I'm out of here. Peace out. Peace out.